Okay, so today's a very important day and I, I'm gonna need your help today. Today is the day that I'm gonna look for an office. Damn, that man with those glasses? Yo, that looks good. And you can look just as good if you click the link down below because our new collection for Jade Black just dropped including these and those. And pro members went ham yesterday, so I'd hurry if I were you. Guys, today's a sad day. Hey guys, so we're finally moving in. Everything's in here, you can see it's kind of messy. We got the mini fridge right here. We're gonna have like a, a water dispenser. Here is our table. We made this out of wood. Uh, this is Juan's setup. Here are our chairs. This is my setup. This is where I edit all my videos. So this is where I spend most of my time. The recording room. Look at this. See if I can show you guys. This right here completely makes the office for me. I want the blue back on. Boom. I have a blue backdrop. This is so awesome. It's weird. I have mixed emotions. It, I think nostalgic is the best one to describe it because today is the day that we leave all of this behind. Four years of work and grind and hours and just the four years of memories. We're leaving it all behind to go to our new office and all our new possibilities. But I figured before I showed you that new office tour, I think it'd be cool to give you a tour of this office and everything that we went through in there. For example, I, I could even start out here like, yo, out there, that's where we tested our first sign for our first ever pop-up in LA, which just killed it. But just, I remember me and my brother going up there and we were stuck up there for a few hours trying to make that look good. And by the way, we ended up scrapping it because it looked like trash, but let's keep going. So this is our main office. My uh, sister sits there. That's an empty spot. I sit here. Jose and wow. I sit over there. So this back here was going to be a bathroom and a kitchen. This and is this our second unit. Next up. Where the magic where the, happens. I was about to say that. Uh, no, this is where all the videos are recorded. Obviously sound padded. Yo, this was our main grinding station. I call this the battleship. Like this is where we would work. Sister would sit here. We would have our workstations back here. Everything's getting packed up. Everything's kind of a mess right now. Good morning, guys. Maria wants to vlog. She wants to do a challenge of uh, push-ups. 11, 12, 43. Come on. <laughs> oh, hey, he stopped. He stopped. All right, so I'll give you the money tomorrow. You all right, bro? Oh, my breath, bro. Yo, we would have, we had legit basketball tournaments going on, and whoever lost had to buy lunch for the office. This is really messed up in our office. We, yo, we have a height wall here. Every employee that comes in gets measured and put on the wall. By the way, yes, I am I'm the tallest at 6'2. Everybody says I'm not 6'2, I'm 6'2. This gives me nostalgia here. This is where I start getting chills. So this over here was one of the uh, fulfilling stations for essentials. As you can see, all the shelves are gone. And this is just all the stuff that needs to go and is being packed. I think you can the camera to make it believable. You should call me boss, baby. You should call me boss. Maria! Come in! <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I think I should like frame this this bathroom. It's like the hall. It's like a museum at this point. From all the grooming videos I shot in this freaking bathroom. But uh, yeah, I even had lighting set up just to shoot videos for you guys. Make sure your grooming was always on point. Coming across here, this right here. This is like this is PTSD territory. Because if you're an OG, this was my first ever office right here. This bed. We painted this whole office, we cleaned it up. Like I have the picture. I was I was as excited when I was that 19, 20 year old getting this office as I am right now getting our office in New York. I was just like, I was a small fish in a small little office and we outgrew it. We kept getting more and more units. This right here is where we used to work but then we ended up turning it into a part of the fulfilling station. We cut this huge wall and we added more units down the road. This was the closet. Yo, I wanted this to look like a magazine closet 
Some might say it didn't, but to me it did, like... Are you shooting? <sighs> yeah, I'm 190 now, bro. That's for a, for, <laughs> for a thumbnail, and I kept it here because I figured I'm going to use it again. You're a boy to me if you don't... <laughs> Jackets, shirts, more pants here with a little rack, which looks pretty cool. This, this is my pride and joy, and I made sure, yo, I could cook up fire fits for you guys. But that's not where the real cooking happens. See, where the real cooking happens was here. This is where the magic happens. This is where I would spend my time. This is where I would scream to the top of my lungs. Yo, what is up, you guys? Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What is up, you guys? Hey, guys. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, you guys? You feel that nostalgia? Like, I'm getting chills, yo. This is where all of that happens. It's soundproof. We have paper rolls here. This is where I would spend literally most of my time just shooting videos for you guys. And then we're coming all the way back around with this. This is where we would shoot all our photography, everything that you see, all the brand content that you see for all our brands and our model shoots, that would happen here. And all, all of the new videos that you're seeing, like the 10 verse one style, that all happens in this studio. Guys, our new shipment of shirts are finally here and we haven't sold that for weeks. And since these are the best t-shirts in the world, you best believe we can't just make them on instant. It's kind of like our surplus studio. And again, when you see the one that we have in New York, just the, the possibilities on videos, they're gonna go 10X after we're done here. But we're not done, we got more space. This right here, this is our J Black and, well, J Black slash editing slash marketing slash customer service. So we had eight seats here for different positions. Didn't really spend a lot of time here, but our editor spent a lot of time here. You were here till four in the morning, yesterday? Yeah, every day. My man sleeps here, basically. <laughs> but hey, that's why the videos look so damn good, so you should thank him, by the way. Right here, this was uh, the head of logistics for Jay Black. And then when we come back here, this whole bay back here, I mean, it's empty now, but this was stacked up to the roof just on Jay Black inventory. And then, like I said, all this, this is pure Jay Black. And as you boys know, Jay Black is our second largest company. Yo, like these right here, these are dropping February 27th. This is our new design. Just look how sick these look, yo. By the way, the other day my sister sent me a screenshot. Addison Ray was wearing our J Blacks. Like, yo, th that, that's pretty damn legit. And that's because, yo, we kill it. Our J Blacks are made with handmade Italian acetate. That's acetate. Premium stainless steel construction. Polarized lenses. We cut no corners. And this February 27th, our launch for J Black, especially in a new office with the new talent that we're gonna have, it's gonna be the biggest launch we've ever done. And I do not want you guys to miss it, which as you guys already know, Put a reminder on your phone, 10 a.m. Eastern, February 27th, our new Jade Black launch, new collection drops. This is gonna fly, but now that we got all of this, we have two 18-wheelers literally packed up with everything, inventory, home stuff, the entire office getting ready to run, and we're still not done. We got still one more bay to go through. All right, I promise you this is our last bay or office. As you can see, this is an actual office. Um, this was just over full for essentials, essentially. I think it's about I don't even know how many square feet, but since it had really high ceilings, what we would do is we would just stack up boxes as high as we could. And this was, as you can see, just overflow essentials that would fit in here. Now, nobody really actually worked here. Like I said, this was just overflow, but I think it'd be cooler to document this as a piece of history. Like all this extra space, this was just for essentials. So if you go come here, these ceilings are like 15 foot ceilings and we would legit just pile boxes as high as we could just to make space and this room was basically unwalkable like you couldn't walk through this area all this was stacked up high and again one of the biggest reasons why we had to move and needed a lot more space and why our 30,000 square foot office in new york is going to be perfect for our new growth our new plants and a new expansion with all our companies
Like a year and a half, screw COVID. We worked right past it. We spent this has been millions of dollars just to get this done. And honestly, it, it was a vision. And I can't believe it's a reality. And I want to bring you through. So one of the coolest features of this office, as you can see, is the natural lighting. But on top of that, it's a private floor. So we own the whole fifth floor of this entire building. So it's private elevator to floor. This is probably what sold me off the rip. As soon as you come in, it's just this big open space. As you can see right here, it's going to be the intern station, which we got about 20 inches just coming in tomorrow. And then we got a second floor, which we're gonna get to. But when you turn to the left right here, as soon as you get off the elevator, this is the first executive office. That is my brother. You come in here, this is my personal office. One cool thing we did with all the offices was kind of like the design on the glass. I really wanted this office to be, or feel super luxe. And we could have cheapened out and just do basic glass, but uh, yeah, we paid a little bit more for glass design. I don't know if that was worth it. The cool thing is that executive offices are RFID locked. So both my brother and mine RFID locked and these are soft closed doors. So even when you slam the door, I stopped it. But again, none of this is designed. Our next step is getting a designer to design and decorate this whole office because it looks bland. We just have basics to be able to start working. We did go high end on the, on the lighting pictures as well. Just wanted to look nice. And one of the coolest things about my office, that skyline just never gets old ever. Let's keep it going. Now, again, one reason we really like this building is the character. So like you can see, this is a hundred year old building. These are original wooden beams and we liked it. We kept them and actually kind of like highlighted them in the, throughout the whole office. So you'll see that as well. Another thing we added to the office that wasn't part of the original plan is that we painted the entire ceiling black. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but I feel like it just made it feel more luxurious, like more like that dark, sexy vibe to it. So all that you see through the office will be like this black, wood, and white aesthetic. And here, not really gonna go too much into it, but there's a playroom because uh, we got a lot of kids. So my daughter and my brother's kids can be in here playing, and et cetera, et cetera. It is RFID locked, but that's not really business stuff. That's just for our kids. This is my sister's office as well. She has a nice view. We're not gonna go in there. Here, we're gonna put more employees here, so we're waiting on more tables. So. About four employees are gonna go into this office. Coming over here, this is gonna be the barber shop. I'm trying to go fast because this is the this is 30,000 square feet. If I take my time and talk like this, we're gonna be here for an hour. So <laughs> I'm not rushing you. I want you to stay, but I want to show you everything without boring you. This is our barber shop. Now you know I need the crispy fades. I lost my barber sadly, so I'm going through tough times, as you can see. I look a little bit homeless. So if you're a barber in the area, yo, hit me up. I need help. You can come here, cut me up, make me look good for videos. Like I, I sh shout you out, bro, for real. This is like our janitor's closet. That's embarrassing. And then this is our kitchen. Again, this is gonna be built out as well. We're gonna put a bunch of tables here so all the employees can come here. It's kind of like the break room slash kitchen. We've got snacks, energy drinks, etc. Love this room. Again, RFID locked here as well because this is my personal studio. This is where I'm gonna record all the videos and stuff that you see all the time for all the companies. So on top of, just so you know, on top of all the videos that I'm doing already for both English and Spanish, we're also doing videos specifically for pro members. So if you're a pro member, on top of getting early access, you get exclusive content. That's for pro members. And then on top of that, we also have affiliate channels. So if you become an ambassador for any of our companies, we have videos that are produced that I record for you guys, showing you how to be an ambassador and earn money with all of our companies, which is pretty dope. If you guys want to become an ambassador for Jake Black, which is our next launch coming February 27 in a few days, you guys can click the link down below and kind of see the videos and see what I'm talking about. But this is all my studio. This is the coolest part back here. This right here is my personal closet. Uh, my parents did this, so shout out to my parents. I mean, they came in clutch. So basically, I wanted an affordable way to make this look good. I think we should flip around, get the lighting in naturally. Plus, it makes your boy look better when the natural lighting. I mean, I've already told you this. So this is, I got the inspiration from YSL. Not gonna lie, I went to a YSL store, saw the clothing hanging from the roof, and I thought, yo, this is dope. This piping, like the entire closet build out cost me like 500 bucks. And then all the way in the back, I just got basic IKEA shelves, like clothing shelves for my shoes. Looks pretty dope. It looks like a showroom in here. 
So again, cool spot here. This spot I like as well. This is like the executive bathroom, but it's really like a studio bathroom. Uh, all like our ads for like heat grooming or for our sponsors and stuff like that, that's shot in here. So it has like a matte black aesthetic with brown accents and like amber lighting. So it's super sexy and dapper in there. You can see, love this spot. So let's keep it going. So we're coming across the main floor again. This is kind of like I said already, the bullpen. Now, long term, we still have a lot to do. There's gonna be a sitting area here. We're probably gonna put a wall with our, our company logo, like the, the, the holding company that holds all the companies that are working under here. And we're gonna put a receptionist desk there. But again, long term, we were already spending a lot of money. Not to mention our inventory investment, which is huge. And your boy's gonna end up poor. Please buy my Jay Blacks February 27th or I'm gonna go broke. No, I'm just playing. So this is the the mail room. Mail room. There. I was like, I got a complete brain fart. Which, by the way, little plug. These these energy drinks are delicious. They're from another YouTuber, and I tasted them the other day on a gas station. And I was like, yo, these are delicious. But this is the mail room. That way everything's clean because we get a lot of mail every day, especially from like brands and products and all that type of stuff. We can keep everything organized. This studio is amazing. So there's a lot of natural light in here. This is beautiful. This is where we recorded our last two or three 10v1 dates and body challenges and whatnot. Beautiful studio, I love it. Again, same thing with the glass. One thing I forgot to mention about the glass is that our executive suites in the playroom is gonna have privacy glass. So it's gonna be clear, but there's gonna be a button by my desk that you can press and it just goes like into shadow mode, which is pretty dope. But uh, yeah, this is, I love this. Then we go over here, this is our tech room. Kind of a mess right now. Um, everything's gonna be organized in here and cameras, lenses, every drone, uh, strobe equipment, photography equipment. Our photography and video team is about six, seven people. So we want everything organized so we can be producing content across all platforms without stop and basically be super smooth. So coming over here, these double doors, freight elevator to bring in all the inventory. Uh, next big office, he, this is our logistics guy, this is Thomas, not gonna go in there. All the offices pretty much look the same. This is our video editor guy, the guy that's behind the camera right now. You got a pretty nice office, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so gonna... then this is uh, another office where we're gonna put four more employees. This is the rest of the video team is gonna go in here. Uh, customer service team works from in here. And then this is head of another company, Jay Black as well. We're gonna go into, this is now the warehouse. Damn, it's cold up back here. So the warehouse, believe it or not, we're just getting inventory in. We just purchased more inventory. Here's the crazy part. Uh, I don't know where we're gonna fit everything. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. It, it, we're already tight. We've got more coming in. We're preparing for launches. This is, it, it's crazy how much it's already tight already, which is a good thing because it's because of you guys and you know, I appreciate you guys. This in here, this is the server room. There's somebody that's working in there right now. So this is, I'm not gonna take you all the way through there, but basically this is all inventory going all the way to the back. Upstairs, just overflow for inventory. We're gonna come around this way. So we got his and hers bathrooms back here. I don't know why it's so dark. Whatever. His and hers bathrooms, you come in here, basically four stalls per bathroom and we even have urinals for men, which is pretty cool. Like it's a legit office, which we didn't have before. We even have like, hand dryers, which is dope. We have a drinking water station and to fill your bottles, uh, more storage and electrical stuff here. And then finally the janitor's closet, which I don't think it's that much of a big deal, but if you guys want to see it, this is the janitor's closet. And then finally, finally, let's go upstairs to my two favorite rooms. So now going upstairs, again, it's really dirty in here because they're still not done. There's still like a punch list that they have to go through, but we made the stairs matte black, which I think looks really sick, matches the aesthetic of the entire office. So then we are up here. This is going to be an employee lounge center. All this is going to be a seating area for the employees. And then in here, we host like team meetings. We have like seven different teams, like creative team, marketing team, video team, photography team, all that type of stuff. Everything's held here. We have a big 90, Incher, I think it's like a 90, it's 90 plus inch TV there that used to be in my old home. Uh, but since I'm not living there, I brought it in, into the conference room, makes a perfect conference room, and we're getting a table delivered for that. And then this room, I'd like to say this is where all the money's made basically because this is the design room. So the cool thing with the design room is that we did a spotlight design in here because the idea is that we're gonna put in mannequins as well. So every brand goes through like three stages. We got the sampling stage, 
than like two to three rounds of sampling and then the final product stage. So if you see every wall is a different brand. So over there, come with me. So over here, we got Jay Black, for example. So we just moved in, obviously, but this is gonna be, be, be built out where we'll have like a mood board on the left when we're designing collections. We're collabing with a lot of other like celebrities and big influencers. We're gonna get to that in a little bit, but more in the future on there. This is, for example, the entire new collection of Jay Black that's dropping February 27th. And like, bro, like we, we're putting in work. Like, I want you to look good. And by the way, this drops at 10 a.m. Eastern. I think my man was actually shooting an ad right now. These are gonna fly. I don't want you to miss it. So put a reminder on your phone, 10 a.m. Eastern, February 27th, probably my favorite. These frames, I kid you not, they feel like they feel like $500 designer frames. And that's that handmade Italian acetate. And that's the point of moving here. I don't only want my products to become better, I wanna design better products, better quality, so when you guys purchase a product, like you get that ROI. You, you're like, damn, this is the best thing I've ever had. That's the type of reaction I want. And that's why we came here to continue to scale all our businesses. So over there would be Santa Lucia, which is our fragrance company. Over there would be He Grooming, which is our grooming company, obviously. And then over there, it's Essentials. And that wall would basically be like a mood board and design. I'm out of breath. Either, either my cardio is trash, or I just rambled like 100 words a minute. I don't know which one, I think it's both. But that's it for this video, boys. I hope you enjoyed it. I like I just want to say before we wrap this up like I'm I'm extremely extremely grateful and I don't take any of this lightly. Like I see this and I'm just crazy. Like I'm 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 just so motivated every day that I come here. I understand my responsibility and it's it's you guys, right? It's to cater to you guys better content. It's to cater to you guys better product because it's because of you guys that we're here. You guys, have, you guys are running the ship. Like you guys are teammates in this right now. You guys brought us from that little room over there in Florida all the way to here to this big office that we're gonna continue to scale out to be, build better stuff for you guys. So I don't take that lightly. I'm just crazy hungry and motivated now. It's because of you guys. So I went from the bottom of my heart. I wanna say thank you. I hope you enjoy, like, I hope you stick around for the ride and just know that 2021, it's about to be a crazy year. See you guys next time.